And you gon' watch us, man Go Mama Jones, go Papa Jones And we ain't watchin' nothing else Cause this new channel we on
I'm here in silence and remember my mom with love. And I know that you are there watching from above. Every day you struggle and know you feel the pain. And my heart breaks in the world every time she remains. You'll always be remembered in time and here on earth. But a piece of me is missing since the day you had to avoid it. I took Cookie Gone, y'all. If heaven is for angels, then I know that where you will be. God calls you home, one thing I know for sure, you'll always watch over me. Love you. Love you, Mama.
Time is too short, man. You got family things, man. Take care of your family, man. Be a man that you're supposed to be, man. I'm 59 years old. Like I said, I don't look at God for God. It ain't about that, man. It's all about being real. Being true to the family, man. And loving each other, man. That's what she wants. Like I said, that was my friend. I love him. I ain't, I hate it. It was just like yesterday. But you ain't got to be around a person for years and years all to know. Amen. And God brings something. It's going to be right. Amen. I love her, man. I love y'all. Y'all be good. And uh, remember what I said. Bless God, God bless y'all, man. Amen. Bless y'all. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say my name is Andrea, a shy driver, but before that, I'm a Johnson. So we was in, raised around Beirut, and my mom was from there. So I probably got like a lot of people out there. But I met grandma. I met grandma through the fun night for my grandkids. And then after I met grandma, we got attached together. You know, she, you know, she liked me. I'm like a firecracker. So she called me mama. I call her grandma. I'm 52. I don't look 52. I'm young. Mean. But she stayed with me. You know, we had fun together. Grandma got her ways. But she know I ain't play. Like she ain't play. I said, I'm going to tell you. I'm telling you. Don't tell Lisa. Don't tell Matt. I said, I'm going to tell you. Because anything happened in my house, I don't want to be blindfolded. But that's how I grew on grandma. I've been on grandma from last year all the way to this year. And I didn't get to talk to her before she passed. I talked to her before Easter. I was supposed to bring her something. I was supposed to bring her some dip. Bless Lisa called me and said, Andrea, grandma gone. I said, what? She said, grandma gone. I said, I'm supposed to come see her. Lisa, did you check on her? She said, yep, I pitched in the room, mom. I said, did you go over there and check to see if she was breathing? I said, Grandma stayed up sleeping. But Grandma, when she was at my house, she was going to sleep at me. I had to sleep at me. Grandma was going to lay out. Grandma sat up on her pillow. And when she sat down, she was thinking she was going to sleep into a car. But now she resting, she in the new place. But I'm going to tell you something, she had my heart. Anything she wanted, she got it from me. And same thing Lisa. Lisa called me, I'm coming. That's me. And I'm going to tell you like it is. That's how I am. And I stay in my own line. Thank you. But I love Grandma. And that's, I'm here for the family. I'm part of y'all family. Y'all accept me. Thank you. All right. And I love I love y'all. Thank you. You're
I don't think it would help, but then I never saw her. The sister didn't smile. <laughs> didn't fuss. Amen. But embraced you with nothing but love. We grew up a distance apart, and when our forefathers brought us together, it was like we saw each other yesterday. We ate very well. Yes. Everybody cooked very well but me. <laughs> I was one of the leaders. But the love that we shared, I'm asking a special prayer for Brother Gil, who's uh, probably very sad right now because he's not able to be here. <laughs> but yet still, we celebrate that. And we're very thankful for God for blessing all of us that are here today to be here to celebrate a very, very special person to all of our lives. If you're here today, trust me when I tell you, she'll touch your life. Amen. Sometimes. Yeah. Honestly speaking, you may not like all the ways, but her love comes with everything. That's right. Amen. All of us. I haven't seen some of my cousins in over 40 years. So I had last night and uh, it was like yesterday. I said to her, I said, do you realize the last time we saw each other? She shook her head and said, no. But it was the summer of 1974. And uh, we out in the middle of the streets. Dancing with KC and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> It's been a little over 11 years since I had the distinct pleasure of sitting outside in my brother's brain, watching my brother cook and feed me. And <laughs> sugar man, sugar man is nothing for me. I don't know about cousins and sister I call them Why am I sharing this with you? I'm sharing this with you because I look around and I see all the young people here. Yeah. And what a powerful blessing that is. We need to stay focused. We need to focus on what the true value of family really is. Yeah. Let's communicate efficiently and effectively. Let's humble one another with love. Yeah. Thus says the Lord. I ask all of you to take this opportunity to get to know the family. Continue to show the love of one another. And then we're asking for prayer for all those that travel near and far. Uh, yes. It all will be well with you, that you make it home safe and you find it on with your family. Continue to keep us all lifted up in our family. Cheryl today, you can be one of us tomorrow. Yes, Master. Even today. today. Yes, so I sincerely ask you to look at the members of your family, get to know them, learn from them, trust me, there is a wisdom. We want to give God all the all precious God. love that we have that allowing us to come to and to celebrate our sister on the earth. On behalf of all of our families, those that some of you may not even know, trust and believe she touched your lives and they for her today as well. So we ask these, this is prayer for the great God. To our cousin, our mother, our mother, our friend. To go with us to understand the true values she provided to us. We ask you to say crap to all of you. We ask you to all of us to live in Manchester. Our Lord and Savior.
I was crying and coming to heart. I asked God, Lord, please give me something that to not go on the family that gonna hurt them and make them worse. Because we all will be saved. We got to think about it being a life right to go. Because it's not just old people leaving me. No. It's young people too. But I learned when I was when I was well, I was older when I learned kids. You need to give, you need to say amen to the word. Yes, yes. You need to give an amen. So you know what to give my how you do. Don't say nothing, because you drunk last night. Not Don't say nothing, because you smoked last night. Have mercy. Don't do, don't wave your hand. Because you know what? God is a mom too, but he ain't doing it. But I want to say to Lisa and all of them. I remember my mama. Yes. And the love that she gave. Being by the bedside, you are the steel of your mom said. I love this. The family are depending on you. Don't you let them down. Cause I remember my mama and I had to be with her. We went to school with holes in my shoes. Yes. We didn't have much, but it's the more the lovers had. Mama kept the family together. Yes, she did. And I remember my mama and I had to be she packed our lunch in her old freezer bag. All right. It might have seemed empty, but it was more than others had. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Mama kept the family really together. Yes, she did. And I remember my mama in a happy way. Listen. Now, Mama is sleeping in the bosom of Jesus Christ. Although I know she's smiling, she's smiling on y'all right now. You all just stay together and stay in God. Hold in this year. Yes. I remember Mama in a happy way. I remember Mama. You know I have to be The Lord is my shepherd. Yes. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, Lord. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thou art and thy staff, thou comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou mount my head with all, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Give an honor to God, who is the head of my life. And to his daughter's son Jesus, yes, who hung, bled, and died, that we all might have a right to the tree of life. And to the magnificent and powerful Holy Ghost yes. that will lead us and guide us all through. I thank God for being here today. It's a sad occasion, but a good occasion. Yes. But I thank God for being a part of this family. I'm Evan's wife. Yes. Lisa is my niece. Yes. But I want to encourage y'all today. Y'all did all that you could do for your mother. Yes, yes. yes. You made her feel like she was your mother. I know. Y'all took time out with your mother. That's it. And that was the most precious thing in the world. She talked about Malcolm all the time. She loved her son-in-law. I know. She loved her sisters. She loved her brothers. So what we got to do is continue to knit the ground in love. Because love covers a multitude of sin. Amen. When one fall, we oh. help them get back up. We don't talk about it. We continue to love each other. Because right. he says love and kindness have our grown me. Share a good fight. Yes. She finished her course. <laughs> now 
thank you for letting me be a part of this program. Let the church of the living God say amen. amen. Let the saints of the living God say amen. amen. We're thanking God for what has been said thus so far. But today I have a task before me to bring a word from the word. As ironic that I was right there this morning <coughs> in the five a.m. hour. And I came from the scripture of 2 Timothy 4 and 7 when it said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth and laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day, at that day, and not to me only, but to all who also love his appearance. My topic for the day is making history from the beginning to the end. Making history from the beginning to the end. As we begin to celebrate the life of Sheriff Augustus, life can be seen as many, to many as well as short, depending on how one chooses to view it. <laughs> To my long, short lifetime of knowing her, I see that she made history in more than one way. She lived a very full life in her own way. From the small town to the big city lights, from watching the television to many being seen to see her on the tour by me. She has raised children along the way, lost one. Behold, history, just from alone is a wonder. Fulfill us that may, fulfill us that many would never have known that thing. Helping to raise others to watch her siblings have children and grandkids. History is in the making. She traveled the country, experienced the things her parents may have never experienced. History is in the making. She ran in many circles and done her thing. With all that said, doing all her running and enjoying life, she ran her race. The Bible speaks of a race that was given to the swift not strong, but he who will endure and prove faithful to the end. Her race started before she was born, lasted 68 years in the body. She was entitled to be well as well as sick, but still faithful in her ways with her family and friends. I learned that God used her to prove that it makes no difference how you live or where you came from, that you can make a difference in people's lives. Perfect, she was not, but human, she was. She said that she, she met and never, she said that she Whatever she said, she did. And never do I remember her being backwards. She was strong and loud. But yet she stood her ground. History in the man. Look at us today. Many of us have crossed state 
rides just to say farewell to her. Amen. Can you imagine her smiling and just what she will be saying watching us? History in the making. Never again will this history be, but new history shall be made. We may not all reach a goal or standard that many may have or would, but we shall make history in our own ways. My mind goes forth when Jesus got the news that his friend Lazarus was sick and died. Jesus being on a mission to God the Father. He said very clearly, let the dead bury the dead. Let us explore this. Why did Jesus say, let the dead bury the dead? Well, if you are with me, dead can be, dead can bury dead when the body is not a cross. You have to be a spiritual minded person to understand what God is saying. You have to be spiritual minded to understand what God is doing. My mind goes back and I think about that. It indicates that many still don't understand what Jesus was saying. Many are spiritual dead today because they just don't believe in God. Let's God do it for them or in their face or faith. That's right. Over a week later, Lazarus was dead, buried, and stinking in the grave. Jesus shows up in time. And the family member Lazarus that was once greeting him with love was partly divided with anger. In many minds of today thinking, I can hear Millie Jackson saying, where is the love you promised me? Well, Jesus said to Mary and Martha. Surely, Mary was respectful, but Martha was very open and poor. Pulling no punches, she was openly disrespectful, but Jesus being on the mission just for uh, this moment, say, show me where we live. Now you know that Jesus knew he was in the grave. You are maybe the only one in the city, possibly. He passed by right on his way to that house. But Jesus followed, the followed them to the grave side and wondered, mind. They watch and wonder what's next. Can you imagine the thought racing through their heads and once believers and now disrespectful towards him? Jesus is making history today. Today we have history in the making because Jesus is still the same with those that believe as well as those that will change from their ways of the world and take on his ways. History in the making. It can be a beautiful day for us if we learn that the race we're in will someday come to an end. I don't care if you have Medicaid, Medicare, HMO, or no insurance at all, but make sure you have Jesus. Walking around with his name in your mouth is not enough. Carry him in your heart. So and I. History in the making. Today can only be made if you make it. Cheryl ran her race from April uh, uh, back in her birth to 2024. Six to eight years she's seen the warning signs of the coming of the Lord. When the call came, she had no choice but willingly answering it. Not telling her, asking anyone to catch her call. She was waiting up. She answered it gladly and made me on the first day. I 
Mary Magdalene that she was tired and waited a long time just to reunite the mother, family member that she had lost and loved. History is in the making. We may not understand how why she left us just when we are getting to know her and just to remember it's just her race, not yours. Now as your race, your race and wit, oh God Jesus. Call his name is not enough. So you must have a personal relationship with Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You must believe and love him enough to change. If you're weak, give me your strength. Just a little talk with Jesus will make it all right. Don't be fooled. All can see God, but only those who are of Him will make it in heaven. We can sit in judgment of each other and find that wrong. Seek God and the blood and wound in thy face. History is in the making, and only you can make it. You have the choice today, as you have always had in your life. Jesus said, choose me this day, whom you will serve. Because there will come a time that time will be no more. There will come a time that we will be looking and seeking a high place for those who are not in Christ Jesus. There will come a time when you run to the pastor and he cannot do anything for you. But there will come a time when you'll have to turn unto the Lord for yourself and say, Lord, hear my what must I do? Yeah. I don't care where you've been, how long you've been there doing whatever you've been doing. Jesus still stands there with his arms wide open and says, How long you be? All the heaven late and the head burden. I will be blessed. I heard the Lord say that I am Alpha and Omega. Yes. I'm the beginning and the end. I heard when you say that I can wash away all tears yes. from my eyes. Whatever you're going through is only temporary. That's right. The Bible says that only one step between me and death. The Bible says that life is like a maple. You can blow it like the wind, it comes and it goes. I'm here to tell you tonight that she's in the arms of the Lord. Oh, yeah. The Bible says to be absent from the back is to be present with the Lord. I don't know about you this evening, but you don't have to know her to know Jesus. Because he's the only one who can get you in. The twelve gates of heaven. Right. You can make friends with everybody. But make sure Jesus is your friend. That's right. yes. I heard the song right. He said, it's all on the altar of God. Oh, yeah. You can't go there and put part of it on us. We look around and we see that she left a legacy. You are being a builder of that. I think about where she come from. Yeah. I think about where she's been. Yeah. <coughs> Look at your life. Yeah. In her life, her parents did not have a car. How many cars you have today? In her life, she may not have seen some of the things you'll be able to see with your own eyes. But God has blessed us. In many ways, yeah. history in the making. Oh, yeah. But there's a big history coming. The Bible says that they're like breaking the up. There are going to be two calls. Yeah. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Are you in that now? Oh, yeah. You ever say, I saw them. That's right. That no man could not. Coming out of high trials and tribulation. Yeah. 
wear the wash that robe in the blood of the Lamb. Let me help you out this evening. Tired, can't wash your robe. All can't get it out of things. Cheer, warm and cold, can't do it. <coughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus can wash away your sin. I'm here to warn you today. So there's nobody who we all sins stinks in God's nostrils. While I'm praying for you today, somebody, yeah. somebody praying to all things and told at me. <laughs> but I want you to know that God is a forgiving God. Yes, he is. And if you need forgiving, He's willing to give you a forgiving right now. You don't have to wait on the preacher to say, take my hand. Yeah. All you have to do is talk to the Lord yeah. and tell him all about your problem. Yeah. Right. He'll strengthen you when you're weak, yeah. teach you when you're hungry, yeah. put you in it. Yeah. Then he you sick. Yeah. <coughs> and the Bible says, he who he set free is free indeed. Yeah. I say to my sister today, my cousin, not only take your rest, yeah. but sleep well. Because yeah. you're in better care now than you ever did. Yeah. I know your children did much for you, yeah. but they couldn't do what God can do. Mm. What God can do, can no man do. Yeah. What God has done, no man could do. Right now, we are making history. Look around and see how many people have come this far just to say farewell to her. That's a blessing by itself. Just look around and see how hard it was for you to make it through. And you're still on the way out of your own wilderness. God. Is not death nor done. He sees what you're going through. Yeah. He knows what you need. And he's willing to aid for you in whatever you desire may be. But if you trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, he will direct your path. Remind yourself every night and day you're just a traveler on this journey. You're not here to stay forever. Make plans and preparation, not just to see her again, but to see the master, the one in you are the fear, who can save both body and soul. The one who sat on the right hand of the Spirit of God, the one who was baptized by the Jordan River by John, the one who told Satan, get he behind me, the one who said, I go away. To prepare a place for you, I go, I come again and receive it to myself. Uh, we're in a history man. I, I heard Jesus say, I am the way. Truth, truth, truth. truth and the life. No man coming to the Father except by me. I say to the family tonight, the songwriter said, We are family. Yeah. I'm here to tell you tonight. Jesus said, only those that does the will of the Father has a right to be called my mother, my brother, or my sister. Are you in good shape with God today? Are you in good shape with God? It's a good time to get in good standards with God. This is not our first program. I can guarantee you if you live, it won't be your last program. Today. It doesn't get easier. But when you're in Christ Jesus, you are prepared for moments like this. I beg of you today that if your house is not in order with God, get in and out. Just 